Hill the big one. Morning. <laughs> oh, I'm back in the hills for a third time in one week. The no, plan was to do all day today, but with this weather we've got, nah, started to go in and out instead, and do the high style ridge. I've got a friend today. So the objective for today then we're Wayne right bagging on the high style ridge between Buttermere and Ennerdale and the first one is Great Bourne, which I now know. The idea was to go up Rake Beck, but I read a few things about that and apparently it's quite loose. So with it being quite a cold morning, we're just gonna head up and onto the top of I think it's Hedra, so it might be Herdus. And so across the style. Oh, that's slippy, mate. Yeah. Yep. Very good. First bit done. <laughs> now we'll follow this back then, let's take us up. Second hike in a row, really steep start. We don't mind that, because there's Herdus, and that's the first one. There you can just, just see Haycock at the back there. You might be a little bit low, I don't know if you can see through the middle there. Yeah, that was the third, the third to last peak I was on, on the Tuesday, yeah. So you get some really good views of them, because we're basically going to be adjacent to that ridge. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up, but we can see what we think is Burrow Head in Scotland. And also, right on the horizon, we can just pick out the Isle of Man. Hopefully the camera will pick it up, I'm not sure about that though. Around something it will pick up. We're still heading up this icy, grassy path. Up to Herdus, they're right this time. This terrain's really icy, but thinking once we get in the sunshine up there it's not going to be so we're not, bothered, we're not going to bother with crampons just yet well snow on the peaks over there oh there's a little bit more <laughs> all right this one does lie to you a little bit sorry all right that's the aesthetic a steep bit out of the way. It's just up over here now to Hedrus and then it should be fairly flat going until the short climb up to Great Bourne. So this is absolutely beautiful. See Grassmoor over there. I think it's Grassmoor. I, think, I still ain't sure if I want it. <laughs> yeah, we'll pinch 
to the sunshine. Here we go, one down already, an hour in. Peak one. Lovely. Wow. I'll get some photos here and the next one's that one. Which, what was it called? Great ball and that's it. Well, on to Great Ball then. We could have took a path leading down, but we're going to keep height this way and have a bit of an easier time of it. Hopefully. Peak number two, well within our sights now, and the first Wainwright of the day. And for him, it's the first one that classifies as a mountain under his, what do you call it, criteria. <laughs> Just a snob. <laughs> Yeah, then on to number three which is Starling Dog which is the one that's slightly ever so slightly snow capped I'll come down from Great Bourne and this path rod now is uh, rather nice just following the fence there's Grassmore which I haven't taken many photos of <laughs> Just uh, in the snow line now. I thought I could see a can. Right, just an ever so eensy bit more. Only an eensy bit though. Wow, crumb of water down there. Clear views down to the river we'll be coming back along. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking forward to that just as much as hitting these peaks. I'm just about to start the ascent to Red Pike then. 
So that's two red pikes in five days I've done. The other one's over that way somewhere. So yeah, it's going to be looking cold up there. It's a left turn here then. That's, looks like the uh, final summit push. But Finno's not here, so I'll say it. They do, they do lie to you. Steep last few sections. So what have we got then? You can see Buttermere now, down to that way. The island's got crummet water. That is high style over there. Uh, over to Honister Pass. And over there to the Coldale Horseshoe and Windlatter Pass. I think that's Windlatter Pass. Yeah, that is Windlatter Pass. Brilliant. See right over to the Scar Fells. Is that clear today? Beautiful. Back over to Ennerdale. I've taken a good few attempts, but I've finally got winter in the mountains. Probably going to be the last time this year. Oh, my boots have got snow on. You are, you must be. Well, that looks quite bad, but as we've had all, all day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's going to be ice. <laughs> Now it's cold. Wow.
Right, and final few feet to the side by the looks of things. I think it's a uh, take your pick. Just get to the top. Yep. Oops, that one's a bit wobbly there, mate. Yeah. Ain't bad at Here we go then. Decent rock. Woo! So I'll just check it's this one and not that out there. <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> I'll have a look. Right, okay, once again they've lied to us. The summit's over there. So I'm going to take a short distance around that uh, gully there. Only one more metre to climb though. <laughs> Too much. Too much. <laughs> oh, let's get over there. Right, we think this is high style now. That's an impressive point over there, but not the summit. And uh, it's slightly possible this isn't either. No, a little bit further. really is out on a limb, isn't it, this one? <laughs> Actually, I'll check again. All right, the dot on my map says this is high style. I'm happy with that. What's that, number number six for the day, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Right, see over to the Scarfells, clearly. High Crag's that one, which will be the last one before we start descending. Quite sharply, I think. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's not high style, that's haystack. There's only no on high style, I'm getting this all, all to cock. Haystack's must be behind that. We'll soon find out. I think that's high crag. Yeah, there's honest to pass. And I think fleet with pike, so. Haystacks must be behind that. It's only like 500 metres. So anyway, you can see absolutely everywhere. So we head over to the next one then. Last one then, high crag. field again you could probably come up that way good <laughs> I enjoy what it be <laughs> you also slip down that way quite quickly you do. You're down a lot yeah Oh, these goodies are really impressive. Ooh. Never going to get to this peak, I just keep admiring this. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, we'll get a photo. Unless the card's full. Hello. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it's looking down and down now, that's where we're going to be walking back. I'm looking forward to that just as much as being up here. It's almost just there mate. Wow. Drop off the side in Turnerdale and then back down the river. Right, so we're going to head down this one now. I believe there's one more, one more little summit on the way. And we're going to dive to the gap between Haystacks and this one. And then back down into Turnerdale. Well, we've finally got the scree that we always get at some point. Wee! <laughs> that probably looked a bit worse than what it was. <laughs> this is a life. One more little climb to do to that one. And it's downhill all the way. Or is it gonna rain? Well it could do, I mean that way looks absolutely fantastic. This way, however, it's uh, starting to look a bit dull. Hopefully we can uh, get down into the down to the valley before we get any rain. At least then we'll have some tree cover. There's ducks on that pond. <laughs> it's random. <laughs> well, coming down from High Crag, that route was definitely better than the than the scree shoot there. Right, last one then. This last ascent up to seat. Which is uh, the last peak of the day. Last views down to Buttermere as well. Beautiful route. No difficulties really. Um, 
nice easy gradients and yeah we've uh, definitely made the right choice with the weather and the views from this ridge is slightly lower than the two ridges either side of it which makes for fantastic views Okay, so a haystack's dead in front of us. It's not on the agenda for today. We'll get down to the pass. I'm going to turn right, head into Ennerdale. And uh, that's it for the fells. Okay, so that's a uh, Scarth Gap path. And we're going to head that way, down into the valley. scrambly section safely negotiated Just been coming along this traverse path and uh, heading down towards the road here and then it's plain sailing all the way back to the car it's a long way back to the car <laughs> but plain sailing Wow. Absolutely awesome. Popping out the woods. So I think you'd take that track to get up to this little red park from here. Middle of the
right, we're almost back at the car park then. Absolutely brilliant day again. It's three in a week doing something right these days. Oh, look at that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to end it here. I don't mean I'm going to jump in the lake, I mean I'm going to end the video. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, when we're next, oh, 20th of March, all being well, we'll be on the Northern Carnathai in Wales. Oh, see you next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> I was looking at these thinking, shit, they have a um, paying display thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the car park's actually quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's middle one, weren't they? <laughs>